Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use environmental lighting in the iRay plugin for iClone to create various styles of natural looking outdoor scenes. Let's start off by taking a look at image based lighting, or IBL, which is the foundation of any outdoor scene lighting setup. If you load a high resolution IBL map into the image based lighting section, you can use this to create a base ambient lighting atmosphere for your scene. You can find the slider to adjust the intensity of your IBL in the lighting tab of the iRay render window. You can see how the IBL intensity affects the overall scene when I move the slider to different values. A lower IBL can be used for dusk or twilight scenes, whereas a high intensity will be more useful for midday. Let's try loading in a different IBL now. The sky in this image is a bit brighter and much less saturated. You can see when we load it in that the entire scene exhibits a cooler atmosphere due to the lighter colors dominant in the IBL map. If you go to the Atmosphere tab of the visual window, you can also adjust the strength here, which will have a similar effect to adjusting the intensity. You'll see that due to the white of the clouds, certain areas of the final render will become overexposed. If you want to see different areas of light from the IBL cast on different areas of your focal prop or character, you can consider rotating the IBL map as well. The section to change the transform position and rotation of the IBL is in the Atmosphere tab of the Visual window at the very bottom, under IBL Transform. This can achieve very different lighting effects depending on the orientation and content of each IBL map. You can see here that we've captured some of the beautiful hues of blue and purple from the clouds, which are reflected nicely off the body of our space cruiser here. Here's another example using a darker night sky where the IBL is more subdued and you can see the emissive lights on the space cruiser a bit better. When IBL is used in iRay, unlike the iClone viewport, it will cast shadows in your scene. You can see as we enter this airplane hangar by selecting a different camera that the only IBL light in the scene that is cast on our ship is through the windows on the ceiling, providing us with a high contrast stream of light and dark mysterious atmosphere. If we increase the strength and intensity of the IBL, you'll see a significantly brighter atmosphere due to more light bouncing after it initially comes in through the windows. In the iClone viewport, however, due to the IBL not casting any shadows, the scene will look completely washed out. Here are a few examples of beautiful looking renders achieved using IBL lighting exclusively. You can see that with just a single light source, you can create dramatic and inspiring atmospheric lighting scenarios. Let's talk now about the sun and sky setting in iRay, which allows you to generate natural outdoor lighting without the need for an IBL map. Let's go back into our iRay settings and change the lighting from IBL to iRay sun and sky. You'll notice here that the iRay render preview window will immediately change and render very quickly, while the iClone viewport remains the same. You can then go into the sun settings and change the direction that the sun is coming from by using the reference image. Click and drag the little arrow, then release it in order to refresh the preview window. The angle parameter below that goes from 0 to 90 degrees, indicating the angle of the sun over the horizon. We can easily change from sunset to sunrise to midday. Below that is the sun strength slider, which is pretty self-explanatory once you see the effect the slider has on the sun. Keep this value low to have a less intense sun which will also cast a lower intensity light on your scene. Sun size reduces the physical size of the sun, while the glow setting determines the level of glow that the sun will give off. To give us a sort of hazy sunrise atmosphere, we're going to keep these two values on the low end of the spectrum. Now let's explore the sky settings. Here we have two parameters, haze and redshift. If we increase the haze value, we'll get more of a gradient color in the sky, and the surrounding glow won't be as intense. The redshift is a cool little parameter that can bring more warmth into your scene lighting the higher you set the value. If you adjust the position of the sun slightly at different redshift values, you can get an interesting gradient of colors as a result. Finally, let's look at the horizon settings. Here we can set a floor color, which is essentially the solid color that shows anywhere below the set horizon. If we swap out to a preview camera, we can see this a bit better. We can set the height and color of the horizon in order to simulate something like a distant ocean if we'd like, and then blur it to make it appear a bit more hazy and distant. Let's examine now how we can create a quick sunrise animation by aligning the iRay lights to a directional light in iClone. You can do this at the top of the sun settings at the drop down menu which currently has custom selected. 
You can see here, if we go into our scene manager in iClone, we have a directional light called sunlight. Let's pause the iRay render preview and play back. You can see that the sunlight directional light is animated. If we go up to the top of the lights list, you can see the sunlight item which we'll need to deactivate since we're still using the sun from the iRay Sun and Sky setting. Once we've done that, we can select the sun item in the Align With drop down menu. What we can do now is click Preview and click and drag the slider in the timeline to any frame we choose to see the iRay Sun and Sky update along with the alignment of the sunlight directional light in iClone. Here you can see the final render of what it will look like once completed. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can use the various environmental lighting settings in the iRay plugin in order to give your scene a polished outdoor feel. In the next part of our tutorial series on lighting in iRay, we will explore different lighting techniques and take a look at IES and emissive lights as well. So as always, thanks so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.